welcome to my channel, New Body. I am Latreviette. If you are new to my channel, welcome. Thank you for joining me. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. If you are a returning visitor of mine, welcome back. Thank you for your support. Ooh, got a little fire going in here. Look at that, all that good Palo Santo. Anywho, thank you for joining me. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, comment below. Let me know what you think of the video. All right. So let me drop my uh, disclaimer, let folks know that while I am a holistic health practitioner and will often discuss on mental health, health and wellness, physical health, general health and well-being, uh, just know that it is the energy that I am picking up on. I am not a licensed medical professional. I do not diagnose. I do not treat any patients. I do not cure. I do not prescribe. So if you feel triggered or resonate negatively, by my message, please reach out to your licensed medical professionals. Same for any messages that flow through me that discuss crime and violence. I am not a licensed legal anything. If you feel triggered by my message, please reach out to your local PD or your legal people. All right, take responsibility for your own actions, your own health and well-being. Okay, so I'm going to ring my singing bowl now. It's going to clear the energy, raise the vibration, allow me to get clear and accurate messages for me and for you. All right, all right, all right. What's today, Wednesday? Happy Wednesday, people. Happy Wednesday, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Where are, wherever you are in the world when you receive this message, I hope that you are doing well. Oh, all right. So we have appreciation. We got, what's going on? Appreciation was at the bottom of the deck. So I need to show appreciation for all that they have. Yeah, give thanks. could have less. You could have nothing. Sun is coming out. So we have first chakra. Archangel Michael. First chakra is about survival. It's about uh, abundance, prosperity, your wealth, your stability. It's card number 35. So one could be 35. So one could be 53. So one could be born May 3rd. On March 5th, 35 reduces to 8. 8 is about abundance, prosperity, stability. All right now. Interesting mix already. So we have door to value. Door to value is in the reverse. So door to value tells me that somebody's Abundance, prosperity is blocked. Doors closed. Hmm. All right. It's card number 31, so we're going to be born March 1st, January 3rd. Thirty-one reduces to four. Four is about structure and stability. It's in the reverse, letting me know that someone's structure and stability is upside down. Look at all their money falling to the ground. Money's going out faster than it is coming in. There's no money coming in. Someone has anxiety about that. Someone wanted this for you. They wanted your structure and stability to be upside down, but it is not. They wanted you ungrounded. The root chakra is about being grounded. This is an upright. 
They didn't want you to be grounded so that you would always, uh, uh, what's the word of, whew, it go my nose, y'all. Root chakra is about fight or flight. They always wanted you in that mode. And you are not. You're, you're grounded and you're balanced. They're having anxiety because they are not in that state. I am not allergic to Palo Santo. I, I really like the smell of that. Might have to get out of rest and get me get back to my sage. Angel of Love. Angel of Love is in reverse. Someone's blocking love. Someone's not open to love. Someone's not receiving love. Anxiety is uh, card number 18. Someone could be born in 1981, January 8th or August 1st. 18 reduces to 9. 9 is about cycles ending. Someone, Someone's having anxiety because they weren't able to get abundance, prosperity, wealth, before the cycle's ending. Are they swearing off love because of that? It's card number 49. Someone could be 49. Someone could be born in 1994. 49 reduces to 4. Structure and stability. Someone's home life is in a disarray. That's why the love of angel love is in reverse. Could be a relationship breaking up a union or a marriage or a commitment of some sort. Seventh chakra, Archangel Uriel. Seventh chakra is the crown chakra. It's in reverse. When crown chakra is in reverse. It lets me know that either someone's crown is blocked or they're not tapping in. They don't want to tap in or they're ignoring the signs and messages that they, you know, are receiving. It's card number 41. So one could be 41. So one could be born April 1st, January 4th. 41 reduces to 5. 5 is about change. It's also about instability. Who knew? Someone's crown chakra is blocked. They didn't see something about the love, union, commitment relationship that they were in. There was something about that love that they didn't see. Maybe that was false. It's in reverse. Someone's not open to love. Someone didn't love someone else. Someone's in anxiety about love and money. see what else is going on. What else do we need to know, Holy Spirit? Time to go is in reverse. It's at the bottom of the deck. Someone don't someone doesn't want to leave the relationship or they don't want the other person to leave the relationship. Now, what, we, what, what do we need to know right now? No place like home. No place like home. So on top of uh, the root chakra, no place like home talks about being comfortable in your own skin. Your skin feeling like home. You being happy with yourself and who you are. Being on top of the root chakra, though, 
lets me know that, you know, someone's not grounded. Someone's um, flighty, airy. Uh, what's the word? Um, out of their body. Oh. I just got that um, someone lost their soul. Wow. Just a messenger, that's what I heard. Someone lost their soul. When I said someone's out of their body. You have to be careful with astral projection. If you don't know what you're doing and you astral, astral travel, my bad. You have to be careful with astral travel. Not to scare anyone, but you should be scared if, if, if you don't know what you're doing. When you astral travel and you don't know what you're doing, you hop out of your body, you're not protected, you leave your body open for something else to jump in. Now you can't get back in your body. Wow! Such early in the morning. Conflict and chaos. It's in the reverse. Someone was trying to send some conflict and chaos. Because they're not happy with themselves. It's card number 50. No place like home is card number 50. Someone could be 50. Someone could be born in May. 50 is about change. 50 reduces to 5, which is about change. But 5 is also about conflict and chaos. Someone's trying to send some conflict and chaos to your home and did work. It's card number 33. Someone could be 33. Master number 33. That might resonate with somebody. 33 reduces to 6. 3's are about mastery, growth. It's in the reverse though. 6 is about harmony, peace. It's in the reverse though. They tried to disrupt your peace didn't work. They tried to send conflict and chaos to your home. Because they're not happy. Seeing this moon right there, there's a face. Somebody's watching over your home. Which is over the root chakra. Which is about survival. Stability. You're safe. Now keep protecting yourself. But you are safe. Conflict and chaos is in reverse. That didn't work. Send it back. Treasure Island. There's treasure waiting for you. Abundance, prosperity, wealth. Could be coming by sea. Meaning someone overseas could be bringing you something from a long lost relative or something like that. Could be a bank from overseas coming By water to give you money. But there's a treasure for you. Abundance, prosperity. It's card number nine. Number nine is about cycles ending. So probably by the time this cycle ends, you would have received your abundance, prosperity, wealth. It says go to distance. You don't need to go the distance. It's coming to you. It's card number 47. Someone could be 47. Someone could be born 1974. Someone could be born August. Sorry. April 7th or July 4th. 47 reduces to 11. 11 is about justice. You have a cheetah. I believe that's a cheetah trying to get to the finish line. It's in reverse. They were trying to get this before the cycle ended. They were trying to get your treasure before the cycle ended by sending you conflict and chaos. 
to your home. They wanted your treasure. They wanted your abundance, your wealth, your prosperity. Whatever you had, they wanted. They wanted. They wanted. They tried to go to the distance, go the distance, and get it before the cycle ended, before the cycle closed. There was a time frame. They ran out of time. To be fair, something's going to be made fair in your favor. It's also card number 11. Someone could be 38. Someone could be born in 1983. So someone could be born March 8th or August 3rd. 38 reduces to 11. Justice. It is your justice for this to go in your favor. With all that you have been through. All these, what all these people put you through. How are we doing for time? 16, 14 on the clock. We're doing good. Doing good, doing great. Deep freeze. Whatever, if you were stuck, Feeling like your life was frozen. It's about to thaw out. You're about to make that move. It's card number 26. Someone could be 26. Someone could be 62. Someone could be born in 1962. Someone could be born February 6th or June 2nd. 26 reduces to 8. 8 is about manifesting, abundance, prosperity. If you weren't manifesting before, or if your manifestations were feeling like they were on hold, it's about to be lifted, about to come through for you. Golden Palace. Again, if your home was upside down in terms of maybe you lost a home, maybe you uh, had to move, and maybe you're homeless, or maybe you're couch hopping it's card number 23 23 reduces to five it's about to change five is about change things are about to turn around for you whoever this may be for in the collective magic stream magic stream is about a running stream of abundance. Universe is unlimited. Your stream is about to flow for you. Stream of abundance, prosperity, good health, well being. It's card number 18, so one could be. 18, I hope you're older than 18, but someone could be born 1981. Someone could be born January 8th or August 1st. 18 reduces to 9. The cycle's about to end, so whatever struggles you've had, uh, feeling stuck and stagnant, and maybe your work, maybe your uh, projects, your ideas, it's about to change for you. The cycle's about to end. This the cycle of being stuck, frozen, stagnant. It's about to end. Dry desert. Your desert's about to be all watered up. Desert's about to overflow. It's in the reverse. It's card number 31. So one could be 31. So one could be born January 3rd, March 1st. 31 reduces to 4. 4 is about structure and stability. It's in the reverse. Your structure and stability is about to change. It's in the reverse because that's maybe where you are right now. Dry desert. What's the opposite of dry? Wet. You're about to overflow. About to overflow. Be prepared. Talisman. 
this come up yesterday and I believe in, in my other readings of course but um, definitely know it comes in yesterday talismans about having something of protection someone in the collective doesn't have this and you probably need to get some if you don't know about a talisman uh, put it in the comments check my other readings I, I do talk about it but talisman is a could be like an amulet of uh, charge with protective energy Yeah. Protect yourself. Protect yourself. Those that you love. And everything that you care about. There are people who just want to take stuff just because they think that they can. They think that they should. You have it. I want it, so give it to me. If you don't give it to me, I'm going to take it. That's the thinking of people in the world. They don't want to work for it. They feel like me taking it from you is working. That's work. To take it from someone else. Actually, it's being a coward. Vanishing mirror. It's about the ego. Ego sublimation. Ego is being shattered right now. Someone could be born in 1985, August 5th, or May 8th. Someone's ego is being shattered right now. Check your ego at the door. Do your shadow work. Says when you focus too much on yourself, you become a servant of the ego. Says in this moment, let go of who you think you are and allow a new you to emerge. Someone's ego is being shattered right now. Whoever they thought they are or whoever they thought they were, they are not. Fortune's wheel. Luck and right timing. So luck has turned into your favor. The wheel has turned into your favor. It's card number 23. Someone could be 23. Someone could be 32. 23 reduces to 5. 5 is about change. I feel like because vanishing mirror is in reverse that you collective were not in your ego. You just minding your business, trying to survive, not bothering anyone, not trying to take from anyone, not trying to lie on anyone, just minding your business, trying to do you and make it through the next day. For that, the wheel has turned in your favor. In the hand, the universe is your partner. Someone lost support of the universe. That's a rough thing. I've been saying this for a couple of weeks now. You have to do something really terrible. You have to do something over and over again. You have to ignore the universe for the universe to start ignoring you. It's card number 31. 31 reduces to 4. 4 is about structure and stability. It is in the reverse it is upside down you see that hand that hand is let go whoever this is who does not have the back of the universe you in trouble 
you are in trouble. You are not protected. You are not supported. Anything you ask for, you will not receive. Hmm. All right, then. Destruction, stability. It's card number four. Where there's number four. Destruction, stability in the reverse, upside down. Universe just said, nah, I'm going to let you go. You go do you. Your ego was in the way. Your ego was too big for the universe, and the universe said, got to go. Horseman, herald of change. That gives me the energy of the chariot, so change is coming through. It's rushing in. It's card number six. I meant card 30, I'm sorry. Someone can be born in March. Aries or Pisces. 30 reduces to 3. 3 is about ooh, mastery. It's about growth. Because you grew, because you didn't allow your ego in the way collective, it's going to be change for you. It's going to be some good changes. Fool's Embrace, Transmuting Pain. Look at all that dark blue. That's a lot of emotion. It's in the reverse, though. Someone doesn't know how to transmute pain. Come on, bud. It's card number 22. Twos are about balance. Twos about harmony. Peace, too. Two twos, that's four. Destruction and stability in the reverse. Someone's ego. Got in the way. Someone like, <clears throat> excuse me, ignores their trauma and pain like it happened, but okay, that happened. Not transmuting the pain, not healing the pain, not acknowledging, wow, this is what I went through. You know, let me sit with that. Let me process that. They don't know how to process that. I knew I was getting there. It was coming. Someone doesn't know how to process their emotions. They don't know how to express them. That's that's a lot of dark energy. That's a lot of uh, what's the word? Uh, pain built up. Pain and trauma. That's what it means to transmute that. So someone takes their pain and trauma out on others. Someone channels their pain and trauma in very negative dark ways. This is a lot of dark energy. This this dark blue, this uh, like in the reverse. Um, I'm into feng shui and feng shui is about... Uh, movement of objects within the home to allow the energy to flow freely and flow uh, in good positive directions to get positive energy moving. Um, talks about colors as well and what colors you should and shouldn't have like in certain rooms and things like that. Dark blue is one of those colors that you should not have in your bedroom. Um, it's very depressing dark color and, and draws energy uh, that energy so that's what that feels like to be that's the energy that I get don't forget to check out the community tab people I post a lot of good gems there Information on crystals, oils, 
moon phases. A lot of good stuff. Meditation. Energy work. As well as my other products and services. So check those out for me. Hit the like button, y'all. The like button helps the video be seen, heard. So we have throat chakra. Throat chakra is in reverse. It's card number five, which is change. Someone doesn't know how to express themselves. Throat chakra is about um, speaking your truth. But it's also how you receive, give and receive communication. Somebody doesn't know how to do that. It's also under ego, sub, ego sublimation. So this is about three or four cards that are blue in this row under this third chakra. It's about emotions. You don't know how to process emotions. It's card number five, which sig signifies or represents change. So maybe this person wants to change that. Balance. So one wants balance in their life. With this balance card, I get uh, the magician card in, in the regular tarot. Um, the angel winged person is carrying all four suits of the deck. Sword, cups, pentacles, and, and uh, wands. All the fire, earth, air, water. All the twos and two blocks. To manifest the life you desire. It's balance. It's card number 11. Justice. Get a few more and then I'll do the angel read and close out this reading. Movement, choices, and decisions. So everything is about to balance out for you. Card number 2. 2 is about balance. About unions, partnerships as well, but more so balance your movements, your choices, and your decisions are about to balance out choices you made in the past that when you maybe felt that was stuck and stagnant, they're about to make some movement. And again, on this deck, you have all the elements as well. Balance. It's about to balance out for you. Heartache and loss. I just heard someone is heartbroken that you're balancing out. And they feel a loss because they know deep down that they're never going to be with you again. And for some, never see you again. For some, the last time you saw them, Get off me. It was the last time you, you will see them. That's for some, not everybody. Especially if you have children with this person. But um, It's card number three. Three is about growth. It's also about expression. I've been talking about the throat chakra and be it throat chakra being in reverse and unable to speak their truth. Maybe they, they were unable to tell you really how they felt about you. It's also blue. Water energy. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Disruption. Disruption gives me a uh, tower, tower energy. Could be a tower moment for someone feeling heartache and loss. Because they know deep down, like this cycle is closing. And for some, it has closed. Like there's no going back. They tried to cause a disruption in your life. It's card number 16. 
16 reduces to 7. 7 is about introspection and reflection. Thinking about the loss and heartache that they are experiencing. But also about disruption. Trying to cause disruption in your life. <coughs> Excuse me. There's a disruption happening in this person's life. That could be the heartache. The disruption that they tried to cause for you. That they are experiencing themselves. They're having a tower moment. And they do not like it. They feel the loss. The loss of you. Based on the choices and decisions that they made. But they see that you're balancing out. And the heartache part is that they can no longer be with you. Hmm. What time we at? So 710. Angel number 710 says... Examine carefully. Mistakes are our best teachers. It's okay to look back on the past even when it's not comfortable. Your angels ask you to think back to a lesson that is coming up again today in a different form. In order to get past the current obstacle, you must learn the lesson it was meant to be. Journal about a problem you are having presently and how it connects to one from your past. Mistakes are our best teachers. We're in the school of life. We have lessons. And those lessons are going to keep coming up. For two reasons. One, if you didn't pass the lesson, then you got to redo it. Right? But the next time you redo it, it's going to be harder and more painful than the last time. Why would the lesson be easy? Second thing is, if you did pass the lesson, the lesson comes up again to see if you learned it. If you recognize that, oh, I saw that lesson. I'm still recording. Sorry about that. where I was but that's okay um, you're just being asked to look at your lessons look at the things you have learned the things that you've gone through and what you have learned from them if you did not learn they will come back around if you did learn they will come back around they will come back around to test you to see if you really learned yeah so that is your message and I thank you for joining me. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe and I will see you on the next video.